Hi, this is Maruf, and I'll show you how to create a Linux VM on Zen Server 6.1 running on top of VMware Workstation, VMware Fusion. So I had a video where I showed you how to do that, how to uh, install Zen Server 6.1 on top of VMware Fusion, and also uh, showed on the video uh, about installing Zen Center so that you can connect to your Zen Server. So now I'm going to show you how to create a VM on that same Zen server that I uh, installed here. So here is my Zen server, which is a, uh, uh, can't see the console for some reason, but uh, it's running, I know. Um, so just gonna connect to the, since I'm using a Windows 2012, I'm going to connect to my Zen Center first so that I can connect to the uh, Zen server. Okay, so I already have a VM running here. I'm just going to power it off just to save some resources because I'm a 2 gigabyte uh, server actually. So I'm just going to full shut down. Delete the VM just to save some space. So I'm just going to right click on my Zen server and create a new VM. And I will choose, since I will do the CentOS, I'm just going to choose other install media. CentOS 6.3. And I'm going to mount my ISO, ISO file. So I have a ISO library which I added, which is a Windows share on the same machine. Click on next and next again. Let's choose 512 as a memory. And we need to add storage, the hard drive. So let's say CentOS D1, just give it a name. And I think 8 gigabyte is enough. So it's on a local storage, 32 gigabyte free for me. So that's good enough. Next, next, create now. Done. So now it's gonna create the VM. There you go. You see our VM. It's gonna go to the console here. It's gonna undock. And you should see a CentOS installer coming up pretty soon. Everything goes smooth. Now the performance of this VM won't be great because it's running inside a nested hypervisor. So just keeping that in mind. So I think at this point you should be able to install the, the, uh, the operating system. So that's about it. Uh, thank you for watching.